Well, it's another day, another technique video day. And on this one, let's talk about this crazy, probably the most difficult exercise that you can do on the guitar. Well, I mean, I guess that's a little over the top, but it is a really good stretch exercise. Start this exercise, put your first finger on the 10th fret, first string, and then go ahead and put your second finger on the 12th fret for string. These fingers are going to stay on these frets until they finish the cycle. For the right hand, I really like to use the index and middle finger, but you could really use any combination that you like. Play the D on the first string and the E on the first string as well. Play the A on the second string, the G on the third string, C on the fourth string, A on the fifth string, D and then E on the sixth string. Now let's go back. G on the fifth string, D on the fourth string, F on the third, B on the second, and then of course D and E on the first string, completing the cycle. And let's keep going. Now slide a half step down to the ninth fret and do this exact same fingerings. And once you're done with that cycle, slide another half step down to the eighth fret and keep going until you hit the first fret. Now, if you notice that the frets are going to get separated more and more, making this exercise more and more difficult. Now, if you have to stop in, let's say, the fifth position just because your fingers are stretched out too far, that's going to be okay. You don't want to get hurt because of doing this exercise. It can, it can take a while to get used to. If you do this exercise on a daily basis, slowly, you'll be able to make it to the first fret. Well, great work on using finger one and two. Let's move on. Now let's go to fingers two and three. Start on the 10th fret with the second finger and the third finger gets the 12th fret and do the exact same fingering. Once you complete the cycle, again, go down half steps until you get to as far as you can because these two are hard. It took me a while to get used to playing my fingers that separated. can't forget fingers three and four do the exact same thing now this exercise is really good if you're tr if you're playing a piece that requires an, a, an awkward stretch or something or something that's difficult to reach because uh, it'll separate your fingers really well and build up those muscles so when you do have to have a stretch it's that much easier now for this exercise it's probably easiest to use finger one and two so if you're filling up to it skip two frets i don't know start you have your first finger on the what would that make it ninth fret and then your second finger on the 12th fret and do the exact same finger patterns until you get to as far as you can. Now, if you need to move your elbow a little bit to help you, that's okay. Try not to go too far. You really want to keep a steady hand so you're taking the full benefit of the exercise. Well, that's it for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video. Ah, something new at the end. And I have all my links down below. See you guys next one. Peace. Making this exercise more and more difficult. I keep saying that. I think I say that in a lot of videos. I need to come up with some more words.